All right, here at 2024 SHOT Show at the MDT booth with our friend Ryan here. Ryan, what do we got new for this year, particularly this? Yeah, so this is a pretty cool setup. This is called the Echo Target Sensor. It is a fully wireless setup uh, that you can go and put on your target on downrange. So it goes nice. on there with Velcro, like the majority of other indicators. But that's really where it changes from there. So what we have going on here is you see this little antenna sticking out of the bottom right. of here. It's actually a radio system that goes and then transfers back to the shooter down at your shooting line. So okay. you go. Nice. Yeah. So what we can do with this setup is I got this one as uh, target one, for example. Right. I have this one set up. Target two. Oh, no kidding. So I can identify what targets I'm going to go on to. Right. I can also control what channels I have here. So if I want, I can have eight of these set up okay. with eight different sets of targets put on them. No kidding. So lots of shooting all day. Right. Um, you set the sensitivity settings on it as well, obviously. Volume settings. If we want, we can change the mode on here. So if I go to mode three, give it a hit. This dings, right? Nice. So you can yeah. have it identify your targets. You can have it as ding. You have to do a few right. different things like that. Range on it right now is two miles. We've tested it much further. No kidding. So if you have line of sight with the antenna, you're right. pretty much good to go. Okay. Um, battery life's two days. Uh, okay. You can put it on any kind of steel target, AR500 steel target you want or whatever, right. and uh, you're good to go. Okay, so sensitivity. So the rim buyer guys are going to want to know, uh, will it get down to that level oh, yeah. of sensitivity? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, it's uh, the, like they've, they've tested on some pretty damn big plates. Right. Uh, and it goes off. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's important too, I guess, the, the ELR stuff. Some of those plates are pretty damn big, pretty damn heavy yeah. to get to get uh, vibration out of them. Yeah, so it's the vibration through the steel that you're getting right. that transfers into right. them. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, uh, MSRP on these yet? Uh, the the uh, base, sorry, the target indicators are 189. Okay. The base stations are 249. They're gonna come as packages though. Okay. Uh, and you can buy extra base, extra stations here to go to your base station. Right on. So yeah, yeah. Okay. That's uh, that's a hell of a handy tool. It is, man. Nice. Yeah. So. All right. There's one thing from MDT. Probably come back later and uh, see if you can show more. us some more stuff. 100. percent All right. Little bits. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, back at the MDT booth again with another couple of exciting things. Yeah, so what we have going on here is our brand new MDT stage timer. Uh, so what this is set up to do, you have people going and asking for how much time they got left at the end of their, or during their stage all the time. Never heard of that. And <laughs> it is a giant pain in the butt for ROs because they yes. never give you the right time. It's, and you lose time while you're doing it too. So we came up with our own design and new timer system called the Crush It Timer. Uh, the idea behind this is infinitely adjustable, okay. or you can run just basic mode. Okay. And in basic mode, you have your start alerts, you got a finish alert, and then you got a 50% alert, a 20% alert, a 10 second, and a five seconds. That's a lot for a mind like mine to process. Well, once you start listening to it, it's pretty easy. <laughs> right. So the other thing we did too, is we got a two and a half mil jack on the back here, so you can go and hook up a pressure switch to it, so you don't actually have to hit the button. So when you're in a stage, you set up here, you go up, you hit this button, it starts beeping, and starts going. Okay. Majority of the guys have been shooting it on our team, literally just listen to the beeps now, they don't even look at the sure. time. Um, multiples of them have been gaining points in like finales, Andy Slade, Andy Slade, he uh, placed second in the finale this year at PRS. Right. He said he gained at least three to four points because of that timer. No kidding. Yeah. So okay. very cool setup there. You reset it. Now programmability, I'm not going to go through all that, but right. it's pretty badass. Nope, that's good. So now looking over here, this is the ACC Premier Gen 2. Right. So we released the Elite last year or a year and a half ago. Um, and we really wanted to do an update on the current Premier. Sure. So we came up with the Premier Gen 2. What we did was we took the fore end off the Elite, put it on here so it's super stiff. Right. Use the NV bridges, control bridges off here. Same weights, same internal weights, everything normal like that. Moving back, we got an Ambi latch, which you can replace with an adjustable latch. Okay. There's dowel rods inside here for 22 shooters, like this Voodoo's in it right now. Sure. Give a little more stability to that mag. Simplified the buttstock substantially, right. but maintain the same geometry so you can use the same dampeners, weights, everything in the back end. Okay. Retail on this US, $1,000. No kidding. Yeah. Nice. So. Excellent. Well, that is really good. Yes. At least you got, still have this in the queue now, yeah. along with 
uh, the other offerings that you offered last year. Yep. Perfect. Cool. I like it. Awesome. All right. Here we are again. Come back for more.